What are you doing, John? Well, it's all tangled up and it won't reach. Oh, yeah. The babe was at it yesterday. Uh, yeah. Is that it? Oh. Good. Oh, look at it. How's it look? Oh, <laughs> oh my. You know something, each year I think this is the prettiest tree we've ever had. Oh, uh, they've all been beautiful, every one of them. Oh, look. <laughs> There's the Christ child Frank made when he was back in kindergarten. It's lasted all these years. Oh, and there's Mary's. There's Siobhan's. <laughs> oh, we don't have one for Kathleen. Pretty soon we'll be getting one from little John. <laughs> He'll know the tree this year. So long since they were little. I'm getting up at four o'clock in the morning on Christmas Day. It's good to have a baby in the house, isn't it? It's a good house for a baby to be in. Mm. Oh. I don't care when they get up. They can sleep for hours. I could sit here and look at it. It's like... It's like staring into a fire. Can you believe... We've celebrated Christmas in this apartment almost 30 years. Mm. And I am grateful to you, my dear, for making each and every Christmas nicer than the one before it. <laughs> You're not getting sentimental on me at this hour, are you? I am indeed. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. It's been good days. You've been lucky. We could have missed it. How do you figure that? Well, there was... One moment there, that day in Skibbereen, and I heard a strange voice with an American accent out in my front room. And I looked at myself, and I was in this old dress and up to my elbows in dishwater, and I thought, merciful heaven, I can't meet anyone. I almost went out the back door. I would have come out after you. You'd never have known. I would have known. <laughs> I couldn't imagine being sent all that way unless it was to meet you. Ah. I listened to the blarney of the man uh, and from his tongue. if you hadn't come out of that kitchen, wiping your hands on your apron and offering one beautiful hand to shake mine, oh. I'd have come into the kitchen after him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad I saved you the trouble. <laughs> Merry Christmas, my John. Merry Christmas, my love. Mm. It's got to be a fine day. It certainly is. The house will be full of people, mm -hmm. coming and going. And when uh, Mary tells you that she's going on down to see Jack, I hope you won't be looking like a prune. I'll be a ray of sunshine all day long. <laughs> oh, yes, that'll be it. <laughs> Thank you, darling. I especially want this to be a good Christmas for Frank and Delia and the baby. I want them to know that they're part of a big, loving family. It's a difficult time. And we want to do everything we can to help bring them back together. For the baby's sake, in particular. is the people's choice. Frank Ryan is my choice, my love. Frankie, are you awake? Mm. It's Christmas. Come on, wake up. Come on, Frank. Can we go to the mountains? High away above the trees. Just us two? Oh, I think someone's hiding in there. Mm. Come out, come out, where are you all? Uh, what time is it? <laughs> it's time to get up. Maeve and Johnny are by the tree in the living room. I think Mary just went by. Uh, just five more minutes, huh? Oh, darn it, Frank. Everybody is out there. Find now, us come a on. cabin 
and a fireplace made of stone. We can see a hundred miles of peaks and valleys covered with snow and be cozy and warm together in one sleeping bag. Frank? Frank! This is little John's first real Christmas. So why don't you take a nap later, okay? Uh, two minutes more. Nope. I'm gonna tickle you. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, Frank, there's somebody here. Huh? Ho, ho, ho. Guess who? Oh, <laughs> no, stop, Dee. Oh, oh, I finally got your attention, huh? Just cut that out, Dee. Good morning. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I just wanted to see if I could get your attention, that's all. Merry Christmas. Now, that's a little bit better. Hey, everybody up and at them. It's presents. <laughs> oh, come on, Frank. Come on, let's open up the presents, okay? Come on. Sure, Dee. Sure. You went all the way down to the village, didn't you? To that little leather shop I told you about. I told you the wrapping paper wasn't thick oh, enough. Oh, darn! So extravagant. <laughs> no, no. Oh, I think your father is trying to make up for a few of the things that have been happening around here lately. Mm. But I can't open it because everybody isn't up. Oh, I guess maybe just this once. Go on, go on, go on. <laughs> <laughs> You were carrying Frank's filing cabinet around in that canvas bag of yours for so long. I thought now he's about to take office. You should have something proper. I was dying for it, and you knew. Oh, Mother, thank you. I have a feeling you had a hand in this. Well, we did consult. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hi, Doc. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, my darling. How are you feeling, Frank? Ah, very, very merry and glad to be here. Oh, a little bit glad to have you. Oh, good to see you, Mary. Take a look at this tree. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, look at all the presents. Oh, uh, Oh, it's for Doc and Mary and... Oh, look, it's for me. Oh, when can I begin? Christmas was surely made for you, that's sure enough. Oh, it sure was. Oh, I don't know where to start. At the beginning. Where's Pat? Is he in the house? Uh, he's on duty, but uh, he'll be here in a little while. You want some coffee? Sure, please. Yes, ma'am. I know you'll... Uh, we want to go down to uh, see Jack. Well, I, I was sort of planning on it later on after things were over. Well, why don't you go soon and bring him back with you here? No, 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 it's all right. I had a word with him earlier. Oh, Mother, thank you. I would just love to. Well, then do it. For the baby. <laughs> oh, that's great. Where is my grandchild? I'm going to go wake him up. And while I'm out of the room, put those toys over oh, by Frank. Oh, okay. Frank, we have all the toys here for you. Okay. Oh, boy. Here you go. These wrappings are beautiful. Oh, uh, well, we'll open them as soon as the baby's here. Huh? Oh, I don't think I can wait. <laughs> There's no camera. There is a camera right there in that drawer. Oh, I forgot to get filmed for oh, it again Johnny. this year. I was just thinking about little John's face when he sees the tree. Uh, he'll probably howl. Oh, Frank, stop that. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Here comes the baby with his grandmother. Hello. There he is. What do you think of the tree? I wonder. I wonder. Oh, I, oh, I told you. Oh, I told you. Oh, there he goes. Oh, there he goes. Oh, 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 a black coal for your stocking. Well, that's very funny. You asked, Roger. You know, I have a feeling this is going to be a wonderful Christmas. I feel like saying, bah humbug. Well, I tried to get you something I thought was suitable. I shudder to think. And I'm sure Jill had a really great time buying your present, Roger, after you informed on her and Frank. All in all, I really wouldn't expect too much today. 
But don't worry. The only thing I'm hoping for today is just to survive it. I'll get that. Door double locked on Christmas morning? Well, I sort of have a secret admirer who's been pestering me, and I'm a little frightened. Are you afraid that he'll catch up with you or that he won't catch up with you? <sighs> Merry Christmas, Roger. Now, will you wait a minute? What sort of admirer, Faith? Well, I don't know. He sent me a poem, a love poem, only it was very weird. And, and, and then he phoned me in a really strange, whispering voice. And then he came into my intern quarters and he left a rose on my pillow one night. There was no counting for taste, is there? He came into your room when you were asleep? Uh-huh. Well, that's scary. Yeah. I'm having a new chain put on the door and I'm also getting the lock changed. You're absolutely right. Look, uh, you better watch out for yourself. I will. Well, all in all, I wouldn't say this is going to be the happiest Christmas day for the Coleridge children. You look frightened half to death. Jill looks like she's been up half the night crying. And I'm terrified of facing my own father. Cheers. Good morning, everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Dad. Well, how's everything? How are you, Roger? Season's greetings, Dad. Is the uh, scrambled eggs okay? I got cinnamon rolls in the oven. Mmm, sounds great. What'd you get back? Oh, I came over about half an hour ago. Put on the lights in the parlor. Poked around to see if anything had been left for me from Santa Claus. <laughs> Which there was. And I put the coffee on and started breakfast. Ah, oh, you're a good girl. Well, how are you feeling this morning, Dad? You all full of Christmas spirits? Yeah, more or less. Uh, any particular reason for your asking? Well, I was wondering what you intended doing about my little difficulty. Roger, this is Christmas. I know. And that's why I'm asking. The truth is, I was hoping that your present to me this Christmas would be that you'd let my little trouble just blow over. I'll bet you are. Will you please stay out of this? Okay. Now, no one has to know what happened. It's, it's not as if anybody had really been hurt, Dad. Look, if I fail to report an incident of moral turpitude on the hospital staff, then I become a member of concealment. Now, is that, is that what you're asking for? Dad, I don't want to give anyone any trouble. You stole $6,000. You blackmailed Frank Ryan. And then you informed on him and your own sister, and now you're asking for sympathy. Dad, I'm asking you not to tell Seneca Bolak. Please, I'm begging you. I don't have any choice. You do have a choice. You don't have to say anything. I have my responsibility to the hospital. I'd have to turn you in, whether I'm inclined to or not. You're ruining my career at Riverside. You know I'm going to get fired. Roger, do you realize what could happen to him if he doesn't report what he knows and people find out about it? Nothing would happen. You don't know that. You don't care who you mess up, do you? Just as long as you get off. Look, are we going to uh, spend our entire Christmas morning like this? Because I have really had enough. Well, why don't I go out and come in again, and then uh, perhaps we can have a pleasant, civilized Christmas morning. Thank you, but no thank you. Oh, if you think I'm going to spend my entire Christmas day pretending that I'm not bleeding inside, we'll forget it. No one around here cares about me anyway, so I'll just make myself scarce. It certainly is wonderful being a part of a big, warm, loving family. Merry Christmas. Oh.